Samsung gives you the ability to add multiple user profiles so that you can share it with your family members as well. And you can do this by going in your quick controls panel, tap on your photo here and from here, you can add guest users or you can add regular users as well. And that allows you to share this tablet with your family and friends. If you want to ensure that your internet traffic through this tablet is safe, and secure go in settings go in security and privacy and then go in auto blocker and turn this feature on now what this does is that it blocks apps from unauthorized sources it blocks commands by usb cable it blocks malware images and messaging apps and it also blocks non-official software update and then there are also maximum restrictions so if you go in here you can turn this feature on and what this will do is that it will turn on app protection and you can read more about this here it will block uh, device admin apps. It will block auto reconnection to non-secure Wi-Fi networks. So this is the new feature here. Any non-secure Wi-Fi networks, your device will not connect to them. And it will block shared albums as well and remove location data when sharing pictures. Samsung has introduced a very important security feature in One UI 7 and it's called lost device protection. And you can access it by going in settings, going security and privacy. And here you'll find this feature, lost device protection. Go in here and here you'll see this option, theft protection. So if you'll go in here and here you can turn on the identity check. So what this does is that it requires biometrics and add a security delay, which can prevent a thief from changing sensitive settings on your tablet, even if they know your pen pattern or password. Even if they know your pen or pattern or password, they can still um, not change any sensitive settings on your tablet. And how you can do that is by signing into your Samsung account, add your fingerprints and set up safe places. If you go in settings and then go in lock screen, you will see this feature called extend unlock. So if you go in here, you will see what extend unlock basically is. It keeps this device unlocked when it's with you. So either you are holding the device, you are near home or another trusted place, or your watch or another trusted device is nearby this device. So there are some really cool ways that you can keep um, this device unlocked. As long as you have um, an on-body detection, you are using the device, it's on in your hand, so you can go in here and you can turn this on, use on body detection. So there's this really cool animation and you can read about it here. After you unlock this device, it stays unlocked while it's in motion. Like when you're walking with it, this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down. Then we have trusted places. So you can go in here and you can set up some trusted places like your home or your office. And as long as this tablet is in those places, it will stay unlocked. And then finally, we have trusted devices. So you can add your Galaxy Watch or maybe add your phone here. As long as the tablet is connected to them, it will stay unlocked. If you long press on the screen, you can go in settings. And here you can change the app size as well. So this is the app icon size. You can increase it or decrease it. So right now it's full. Let's see how it appears if I reduce it to the lowest level. So the app icon sizes have reduce now and if i'll go back in home screen and increase it you will see the difference here so now the app icon size is much larger then we have app labels so uh, you can turn this on if you want to show the app names so now these app names and labels of the folders are now appearing but if you want to have a clean look you can turn this off as well a very important feature in the home screen settings is swipe down for notification panel if you don't turn this feature on you cannot swipe down anywhere on the screen or window to pull down the notification panel. So if you turn this on and you go back, you can swipe down anywhere and it will pull down the notification panel for you. If you go in settings and then go in wallpapers and style, you'll see this option here, color palette. So you can go in here and what you can basically do is that you can take the color palette of your wallpaper and apply it to the entire UI of the tablet. So this is how it looks right now. And if I turn it on, it will take the palette colors from the wallpaper and apply it to the UI and then this is how it will look. But then it also gives you some options down here so you can try on these different combinations. You can also apply these same palette colors to the app icons. So if I turn this on, all the app icons will change and I can apply it. And then we'll go back and you'll see that everything is different now. All the elements have the same palette colors as the wallpaper. Now there's another option here and that is dim wallpaper when dark mode is on. So if you turn it on and you turn on the dark mode, it actually dims the wallpaper down. So right now 
here you can see that the wallpaper is a little dim so if we go back and turn this off go back it's a lot brighter so there is no uh, dimness in the wallpaper behind so this is also something you can use to dim down the wallpaper so you can reduce the light coming out from the wallpaper as well a very useful feature in battery settings is battery protection so if you go in here you can turn on battery protection and here we have three modes we have basic mode adaptive mode and maximum mode in basic mode uh, when your battery is charged 200 percent charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95 percent and then the charging will start again if you select adaptive mode it will stop charging at 80 percent while you are asleep and switch to basic this one before you wake up so sleep time is estimated based on your tablet usage patterns and then we have maximum so in here this is the new one ui7 feature actually so in here you can set the battery uh, percentage if you want uh, 80 percent 85 90 or 95 percent once your tablet is charged to that level the charging will stop and this feature is actually really useful in improving the battery health and makes your battery last long period of time another feature that i've noticed on this tablet that i have never paid any attention to on my galaxy s24 ultra is the screen saver in the display settings so scroll all the way down and the last setting you'll find is the screen saver so if you go in here there are few very useful settings so you can select colors as a screen server you can select daily board then we have device control so this is samsung smart things that will uh, appear you can select photos photo table and photos from google photos so i've got few wallpapers so let's see how it shows up so there you go the screen server is now using these wallpapers from my gallery the device control is also a very useful option to have here so if we select that and preview it it will show you um, all your devices that you have connected with Samsung smart things and they'll show up here and you can very quickly control them now if you select colors that also show up very beautifully so uh, there is this wave of changing colors that shows up uh, as a screensaver which I to be honest really like on this tablet you can also manage your navigation bar whether you want the gesture navigation or you want the buttons you can do that as well so for that we'll go in settings go in display scroll down you'll find navigation bar now here you can switch between swipe gestures which i'm using right now or you can switch between buttons so when you select buttons you'll get this taskbar and you'll get these buttons on the side here and this is how uh, it stays now you can go in more options here and you can change the sequence of these buttons and you can switch the buttons from right to left if you want but uh, they are not in the center like before in the center you get this permanent fixed taskbar so if we go in swipe gestures you still have more options you can go in here and here you can manage the gestures so you can block the gestures with s pen so you can see that i'm using the gestures with s pen but if you don't want to do that you can simply turn it on and then this will not support any gestures at all and i think it is very convenient to be able to use these gestures with s pen down below you will see gesture sensitivity so you can change the gesture sensitivity as well then we have circle to search so you can just hold this um, bar down here and then you can circle anywhere to search it this is a google feature so you can use it in the display settings you will also find edge panels so you can go in here you can turn this on or off and then from here you can also select the panels that you want to choose that you want um, to appear here so these are very helpful panels and i use them from time to time and here you can also uh, select the handle settings of the panel you can uh, position it to the right or left you can uh, lock the handle position so right now i can move it up and down but if i lock it it will stay here it will not move anywhere you can change the color transparency size and width so there is a lot of customization that you can do with the edge panels handle in the display settings you will find something very interesting which is aspect ratio so if you go in aspect ratio you will see that there are three different aspect ratios there is full screen 4 by 3 and 16 by 9 and you can set different aspect ratio for each app so for example this is apple tv here i can go in here and i can uh, either select app default or i can select 16 by 9 4 by 3 or full screen and then this app will run in that aspect ratio if you go in settings and then go in display and here go in screen mode you can select the screen mode between vivid and natural so uh, your own preference what look you prefer so if you're in vivid you can then also customize the white balance you can go warm or cool whatever it is that you like 
but if you scroll up you also get advanced settings so if you go in here you can then increase or decrease the vividness further on this tablet you can increase or decrease the screen frame rate by going in settings then go in display and here go in motion smoothness and here you can select between adaptive or standard now if you select adaptive which is the default setting uh, you will get a smoother animations and scrolling by automatically adjusting your screen refresh rate up to 90 hertz